body of organized scientific thought has discovered bizarre and unusual things over the years. As history progresses, we have seen the discovery of penicillin, the witnessing of man on the moon, and the discovery of various new strains of life that man has never seen before. Incredible as these occurrences may be, there are certain unexplained phenomena that still tend to elude man's grasp. Man has come face to face with these mysteries, but has not been able to determine their viability. Here we examine one such type of phenomena, starting with an eyewitness account given by a young woman in upstate Michigan. On April 10th, 1986, at 1.17 in the morning, Mrs. Sharon Kessler of Fremont, Michigan, was driving home from Edenton. Sharon was late and decided to take a shorter route on a road that was unknown to her. One of our top researchers conducted an informal interview with Sharon Kessler on April 18th, a week after her encounter. When I looked under the hood, I knew something was there. I could just feel something watching me. I don't even remember getting home. I, mean, I must have fainted at my front door. But when I woke up the next morning, I, I knew. Well, that's all right, Mama. That's all right for you. That's all right, Mama. In England, Minnesota, Mr. Harry Calhoun was camping alone one night in August when he claims to have been captured by a family of elders. The legend of the giant, foul-smelling creature known as Elvis Presley began in the mid-50s, when the first reports of the beast hit newspapers and radio stations nationwide, characterized by hit singles such as Love Me Tender, Old Shep, and Let Me Be Your Teddy Bear. But it appears that the legend has been pondered for centuries. Early American Indian tribes often told tales of singing truck drivers roaming North America. Suddenly, sightings appeared everywhere. In Scotland, Angus McEwen and his family were picnicking alongside of Loch Blackenfleck when they were disturbed by an eruption in the water. Two days later, the McEwens turned this photo in to the authority. To help us gain more information, to uh, uncover the possible truth behind Elvis's possible existence. We have gathered together a team of experienced investigators from Victims of Fantasies Limited here in Tennessee. Okay. Upon hearing of a sighting outside of Johnson's Grove by local mill worker Elroy Bingham, our team set to work looking for clues. Crazy as it may sound, these tracks were made by a bipedal creature of about five and a half feet in height with an unbelievably massive body weight. Recently, there have been a number of Presley sightings all across the country. In Marion, Illinois, Cheryl Macy encountered the King at Goldman's supermarket late one afternoon. With a myriad of sightings coming in, special investigative procedures are being set up to bring us closer to an answer. One method is psychic correlation, in which we consulted world-renowned detective Barack. 
Your hands cover most of the world. Our scientists have a solid piece of evidence. We'll hide it away in this briefcase, take it to a psychic, and have him attempt to reveal its importance without revealing the, co the contents. Fuck! I see a field, a large open space. And in the field, there are cows, cows roaming about. Yes. And I see, I see leather. Genuine leather, not the cheap imitation plastic stuff. I, 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 it's coming in. Yes, I, I see it clearly now. This is a briefcase. The most convincing piece of evidence in the King's Saga came to us early last November from Jerry Hoffa, a professional Elvis hunter and freelance neurologist from Spokane, Washington. My buddy and I were camping uh, just outside of Ellensburg, which is uh, in the middle of the state. I was camping with my buddy. Uh, we were coming up along a little ridge when my partner noticed some strange tracks that had been left. Now, they weren't typical Wagoneer or pickup tracks either. They were limousine tracks. Now we knew something was up. Then, right along the creek bed, about 100 feet in front of us, we saw him. I grabbed my little home movie camera and just barely managed to get it on film. Does Elvis Presley still exist? Even though he died over 10 years ago? We may never know for sure. One thing can't be dismissed, and that is that the great span of our imaginative powers have given us the fantastic and uncanny ability to foresee that the positive things that are gained from the cosmically predisposed destinations that have gotten us where we are today. <laughs>